welcome uh, to International University of Japan. As the president of this university, it is my great pleasure to open this international symposium. Today, I'm excited to hear more about the Sado Island gold mines from the distinguished experts and participants uh, in today's symposium. Sado Kinzan wa Senkoku Jidai no Wari Kara Edo Jidai ni Kakete. Nihon ga Sakok Sensak o Tote Ita Jidai ni Kai Gai to no Koryu ga Gok Kagirai Ita Naka de Nihon Dokuji no Dento Teki na Shikogi o Base ni Sekai ni Rui o Minai Historyo no Kin o Sensan si Seren Kara Koban ma de Chuzo Shita Keuna Sankyo Isan des. Now I like to introduce you the distinguished panelist. Uh, Professor Yasuyoshi Okada, Professor Emeritus of Kokushikan University, participating online from Australia is Mr. Barry Gamble. Uh, he's a leading World Heritage Consultant and Professor Yohei Miyata, former Commissioner for Cultural Affairs and also he was former President of Tokyo University of Art and he's originally from Sado Island. My name is Ayako Nakamura and I'm an assistant professor in the School of International Relations and from now on I will take the moderating role for running this panel discussion. It was organized by the Shogunate on a large scale, a massive scale. So the output of Sado Island, the largest gold mine in the world, and probably at that time, um, the largest producer of gold, which was important nationally to the Shogunate, and it was important globally in terms of the role it played with trade. So it's this, this uh, perpetuation of the use of traditional technology right through to the end of the Edo period that truly makes the heritage of Sado Island exceptional. The gold production in Sado uh, was the most important tool for supporting the finance uh, of the shogunate in two ways, I think. The first one, uh, uh, tool as a, a raw material of the real currency money. And the second, the tool as uh, uh, the fund for the exclusive foreign trade. Uh, based on the uh, seclusion policy. Therefore, uh, Shogunate uh, directly controlled the Sado Island and managed to uh, persist the gold production over a long period of time. ケケ、私の経験ですが、5歳の時に親父の親父と袋の前で正座させられて。そろばんと戦争を書かれたんです。わかりますか?どっちを取るか。そろばんは経済。戦争は文化なんです。私は戦争を取ります。何度かノーブタイに立つことができました。というように、その恩恵というのがですね、隅々にまで行き渡っているということなんです。そういうその文化的なものの価値観というものをしっかりと当たり前のようにも、これが難しいんですよ。当たり前だと思っているんです。ところ
Third Island gold mines is exceptional cultural heritage, which led the world in the volume and quality of its gold production. Without the use of mechanical mining equipment, at the conclusion of my address, I'd like to appreciate again all participants who traveled here and those online for joining the symposium today. Thank you very much. <laughs>